Hi, and welcome to class. Today I have a short and fun practice for you that's both geared to strengthen and stretch the whole body. You could have, but if you don't have them, that's fine. Two blocks are great, and then a folded up uh, blanket or a folded up towel from your bathroom. You can use it uh, to make yourself more comfortable, pad up your knees or your ankles, whatever it is that you need. And let's start. You can reach your arms around and up as you inhale and bring your hands together towards your chest as you exhale. Inhale, slow movement to match your inhalation. And then slow movement as you bring your hands down towards your chest to match your exhalation. A few more of these. Let's go for another three of those. Not only it helps to center, but also to warm up the shoulders. And to slow down a little bit. One last time. Now walk your left hand to the left and move your right arm over. You can sit your hips towards the side a little more. Come on. Go to the other side. Walk. You can move your hips to the left to feel a deeper stretch along the left side of your body. And come to the center. Interlace your fingers behind you and reach your knuckles towards the floor, lift your chest up. And then move your arms forward, interlace your fingers, flip your palms towards the front and push the palms forward as you round your spine. Again, bring your arms behind you, interlace your fingers, knuckles towards the floor, chest towards the sky. Bring your arms forward, interlace your fingers, push your palms forward, round your chest, hollow your belly. One last time, arms behind, interlace your fingers, hands down, chest up, arms come forward and push the palms forward, release your head towards your chest. Reach your arms all the way up, reach up high, and then coming towards hands and knees. Tap your feet on the ground. If they got a little bit, um, if you sat too much on your shins, and then let's do a cow in a cow here. Inhale, lift your chin, allow your belly to drop open across your chest. And exhale, round your spine, hollow the belly, and press into your hands. And once more, inhale, open, and lift. Exhale, round your spine, move your shoulder blades away from each other. Gaze down, and come to a regular spine. Shake your booty a little bit, and now stretch your left leg back, move towards your heel, and then turn the left heel down, bring your left hand to your hip or towards the sky, as you press the right hand down, lift the knee up, and lower it down. This is good for the obliques, another three times, if it's hard to lift the whole leg up, you can Keep the toes down and lift the knee up. One more. Good, and lower it down. And let's do the other side. Right leg moves back. Stretch your calf and then turn the right heel down. Move your left hand underneath your shoulder, either right hand on the hip or arm towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Press the right foot down Lift the left knee up and lower. You don't want the leg to touch the floor when you lower it down. 
But if you need to, of course you can. One more here. And then come back to your hands and to your knees. Shake it out. Bring your fingers backwards to face your knees and take a little move your hips back towards your heels. Turn the hands forward and flip the toes under to downward facing dog. Hmm. You can walk the feet maybe an inch closer to your hands. We're going to twist our dog. So maybe the heels are moving a little bit closer to the floor since the feet are closer to your hands or not, doesn't matter. Try to find some stability, pull the navel in and move the hips up and back and then float the right arm to the side. Reach the right hand to catch the left, the outer edge of your left leg and look underneath your left arm. Twist it, twist it. You can grab your ankle as well or your thigh, wherever it is that you can reach. And center. Pedal for a moment before we do the other side. So again, try to find your center, pull the navel in, move your hips up and back, and then float your left arm to the side and move your left hand to catch your right, the uh, outer edge of your right shin or the ankle or whatever it is. You want to spin and look underneath the right arm. Keep your hips from moving to the right. Ah, and release your hands down. Pedal your dog, move your feet a little bit more to the back so it's a regular dog again, not too short of a, of a dog. Shake your head. And then let's walk all the way towards the front on the tips of the finger, of the toes, come all the way forward, forward, forward. And lower the heels down, bend the knees. Move your arms side to side. Inhale through the nose, side up through the mouth. And now bring your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, stretch the arms, Towards the back, maybe straighten the elbows all the way or a bit. Head down, arms forward. Now bend the right knee, bring the right shoulder towards the right knee, open towards the left side. And come towards the center, shake it out. Change the interlacing of your fingers, maybe bring the left thumb over. Again, the chest is over your thighs, move the hands forward, stretch the elbows, stretch the shoulders, and then bend the left knee, left shoulder towards the left knee, right shoulder opens to the side, gaze towards the sky. And release your hands down and slowly roll all the way up for Mountain Pose Tadasana. Stay here for a moment, eyes closed or open, spread your toes, feel the whole foot on the floor, all the toes, inner and outer heel, big toe mound, little toe mound, and you can move a little bit forward to back, back to front. And then as you inhale, reach your arms up and over. Exhale, come all the way down. Bring your fingers down. Look forward and step the right foot back. Lower the knee down and lift your arms up. You can move your blocks closer to you, underneath your shoulders, if you have the blocks. And then lower your left hand to the left block and move the right arm towards the left side. So you have to create a banana shape here. If you don't have a block and your hand cannot reach the floor, you can place your right left forearm on your thigh and reach the same way to the left side. 
come up. Right hand to the block or to the floor or right hand to your waist. Move up and over towards that side. And then you can move your blocks forward. Lower your right hand down, lift your left arm up for a twist. And then reach your left arm towards the back and bend the right knee, maybe grab your ankle. You want to turn to the knife edge side of your left foot, so the right big toe is off the mat. You can bring your heel towards your bum and open a little bit more. And then release that. Bring your fingers down, stretch the front leg towards straight. Shake your head. And then step back to a plank pose. From plank pose, you're going to turn all 10 toes towards the left side, coming to a side plank. And then lift the left knee up. Move it to the side, bring your left foot down, press down to lift your hips up. This is flip dog. And bring both hands down, forward to a plank, roll the shoulders over the wrists, and come down all the way for chaturanga to the mat. Inhale, layer your elbows for cobra. Exhale, lift the toes under, downward facing dog. Come up to the tippy toes, bend the knees, look forward, then jump or step to the front. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, your head down and slowly rise. Exhale, all the way down, repeating the same sequence on the left side. Left leg moves back. Lower the knee down. Reach your arms up for low lunge. You can transfer the blocks closer to you if you like underneath your shoulders. And then either reach your right fingers towards the right block or to the floor, or bend the right elbow, bring the right forearm on your thigh and reach towards the right side. Stretching the side, body lift, stretching the left side up to center and other left hand on the hip and arm towards the left or hand on the block and same thing or hand to the floor many options for many different levels and come up bring your blocks forward if you have them near you left hand down right arm up coming to a twist Make a big circle towards the back and then maybe bend the knee and grab your ankle. Peel the big toe of the right foot, come to the knife edge of your right foot and spin the chest open. You can bring the heel, left heel closer to your bum. And then Bring both hands down, straighten the front leg any amount. You can lift your toes towards your knee and fall forward. Bring the hands down, step to a plank. And roll the heels to the left side. Lift your arm up for side plank. Lift the right knee up. Bring the right foot behind you. Step on the ball of your right foot. Lift your chest up. And then bring your hands down. Plank pose. Shift forward. Lower chaturanga, either on the mat or halfway as you please. Cobra, narrow elbows or upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale one. 
this and down through your hands to lift the hips up and back. Bend the knees a little bit if you need to. Shake your head loose. And then lift your right leg up. Bring the knee towards your chin and step the foot forward by your right thumb. You can go a little bit wider with your right foot and then try to squeeze your inner thighs towards the center so that you have more stability. Bring your arms towards the back, torso parallel to the mat, interlace your fingers, stretch the arms towards the back, head towards the front. We're going to come up for a warrior three. So make your way there, you can bend the right knee, See if your hips can be level. And then we're going to bring the left knee all the way up. Lift your arms up. And let's twist it towards the left side. So right hand on the left knee, left arm all the way towards the back. See if you'd like to grab the outer edge of your foot and stretch the leg forward. That's an add-on. You don't need to do everything. And we bend the knee, look forward, and bring your foot down. Take a little chair pose. Keep the front ribs moving towards the center. Pull the navel in. And then bring your hands down. And step or jump back to a downward facing dog. You can inhale to cobra, to, <laughs> to plank and then lower chaturanga inhale for cobra or upward facing dog and exhale for downward facing dog hmm. try to find a place of stillness in your downward facing dog catch up to your breath we're going to do the same little sequence on the other side. So left leg moves up, knee to the chin, shoulders over wrists, step the foot to the left thumb, walk it a little more to the left side, gaze forward, bring your arms back, interlace your fingers with your non-dominant thumb on top, stretch your arms towards the back, your head towards the front, Coming towards warrior three on that side. So take a little step and then warrior three. You can keep the left knee bent or you can straighten it. Drop the right hip a little bit if you, if you need to keep your uh, hips level. And now the right knee is going to come all the way towards the chest. The arms are going to go up. Flex the right foot, and now we can twist towards the right side. Again, you can straighten the right leg, or stay with your knee bent. Bring your arms up. Again, chair pose. Come up on the tippy toes and see if you can lower the hips towards the heels. That's it. Now see if you can go a little bit further back. See if you can lower the knees down very softly. Ah. That's it. Bring your hands behind, fingers down, chest high. You can even lift your hips up for a version of camel. And then lower the hips down. And bring your hands to your hips. Let's try a traditional variation of camel pose. So push your hips forward, lift your chest up. So you want your tailbone to move down as your chest moves up. If you can reach for your heels, do that. Keep moving the hips forward. 
So hit the align over your knees. And when you're ready, lower your hips down. Nice. Good. Now let's come into a twist on the floor. Right knee is facing up, right hand behind you, press into the right fingers, lift the chest up and twist. Look towards the center and now stack the right knee on top of your left knee for cows face legs. Keep the heels away from your hips. Keep the knees on top of each other. If this is too much, you can sit with your legs crisscrossed. And now you can come forward, bring your chest towards your knee and then hook your chin over your knee. Relax the shoulder. One more breath here. Slowly come up. Let's do the other side. So twisting towards the left side. Left knee is pointing up. Either hand on your knee or elbow over the knee. Whatever variation you find is more effective for you. You want to keep the left hip down as you twist to the side. Center yourself and again stack the left knee on top of the right knee. Move your hips up a little bit to adjust. And again, either this or cross your legs on the floor. You can place your hands on the soles of your feet. Make sure the heels are away from you and that both hips are down. And then start to make your way forward if you prefer or you can stay up, whichever way. I like to bring my chin towards my knee and then I find it easier to relax my shoulder than my neck. Relax your jaw as well. One more breath here. And we're going to roll down on the mat in that same position. So come all the way down, keep the legs as they are. Grab either the bottom side of your feet or you can grab the ankles and move them apart. There are different ways of doing that. You can bring the heels lower to the ground and then pull them apart or you can keep the heels higher and try the same thing. Notice if you are clenching your jaw here, if you can let go of tension around your shoulders. And let's do the other side, right knee over, the left knee, Grab your, the other edges of your feet and pull the knees away, the uh, feet away from each other. The knees are on top of each other. From here, a happy baby, bend the knees. Grab again the other edges of your feet or hands behind your thighs. Move the legs away and bring them close to your rib cage. From here you're welcome to come to Shavasana and relax for a while or if you have something else on your agenda roll over to the side and come up to sit. There's a beautiful sun right now. So, a moment to 
Notice how you feel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that was a fun flow and I hope to see you again soon.